Okay, so we're going to add the rest of our components to our component library. If you've been following along in the course, then you know that we've added resistors, capacitors to the Altium 365 workspace. If you're not working with Altium 365, then you need to be because it makes uh, working in PCB designs extremely easy and streamlined for hardware engineers. So let's go ahead in the manufacturer part search. I've copied the manufacturer part number for this ferrite bead. Let's see if the component is in the library. Oh, excellent. Now right click and save this a PCB model, this uh, connector model to my workspace. Now for ferrite beads, um, I would for now put this in my miscellaneous components. If you want, you could put in like crystals, oscillators, inductors and whatnot, um, but I'd put it in miscellaneous for now and click OK. Then I'd set the height for this thing and uh, you know anything else that is relevant to your use case. You might need component widths or maybe you want it to be in a different category other than just miscellaneous. It's up to you. Now you can click to display the footprint. Don't worry about these windows being black. It will show you what the bead looks like. It has a number of footprints and you can set any of them as the default. But this one, this first one is set as the default. The next thing is to name the ferrite bead. So I would go to my, my list here, copy the name, and then give it a name that I want that works for finding it more easily. Here's the component ID within my design library, well, in my Altium 365 workspace, and I can add alternate components to this. All right, so now go ahead and click and save FB and then close this. Once I choose to save it to the server, this will get released into the 365 workspace, new ferrite bead, this information. Click OK. That is how you add a component to your Altium 365 workspace. If you're not using Altium Designer, then you need to click on the link in the description below to check it out. You also want to look at Octopart um, because Octopart lets you look up any components, right? So while that's saving to the workspace, you can go into Octopart and it'll pull that up. You can pull up all the stats, the data sheets, the CAD models to add to your 365 workspace or locally and then put in your 365 workspace. If you're not using Altium, you click on the link below to get the trial to Altium Designer, a free trial or to get a discount if you're going to purchase Altium. All right, the part has been added. So let's go to components. This components panel looks for all my components inside of my uh, 365 workspace, right? That I've added to my uh, to my team workspace, and look at that. The FB shows up, and I can place it as a part of my schematic. 